All right, maybe, um, I don't know about you guys, but you know, I, I've talked about how, you know, when we're, when we get off the cushion or off our chair, our practice chair, right, is connecting to energy wherever you are. Um, and as a way to help, well, one, cause it's there. And two, because it's really useful in kind of breaking that monkey mind circuit and reminding us that we are all connected, right? So let me make everybody full screen here. I think I'm supposed to spotlight myself too. Oops. Um, I just wanna go over some basics with everybody. Okay, so the three treasures you guys remember what those are, yeah? I'm going to go into like teacher mode. <laughs> Do you guys remember what the three treasures are? Earth, human, mm -hmm. and heavens, heavens the and earth, and the human. Sun. Right. The earth, the human, and the heavens, right? Um, so connecting to the energy of the earth, drawing it up into your body and bringing it to the heart, drawing energy from the heavens down into the body and to the heart, and then expanding that energy outward, right? It's kind of like a consistent, like loving kindness practice when we connect to that. Um, and it's really cool when you do it as you're walking around, right? So as you connect to that energy and then as you're passing people and think, may you be happy, may you be peaceful, may you, it's beautiful practice. So that's uh, one I would definitely recommend doing, especially as a solve to loneliness and to feeling disconnected. Okay. So today let's start off. We'll start off with the nine breaths of purification, adding in that, another one, right? The 10th breath. And then we'll do some microcosmic orbit to kind of start tapping into moving that energy. All right. And then we'll do a physical practice. Um, all right. And that, so before, before you came on, Susan, what, one of the things that I was talking about also is like, I was, I was supposed to fly out to Paris tonight, <laughs> not happening. Um, and you know, how throughout the day, when something doesn't happen or doesn't occur the way that we want it to, right. Like just releasing and then, and watching the, watching all of the fluctuations just kind of vanish. Right. Cause so much. What do you mean release our release for, we, yeah, for the yeah. outcome? Yeah, for the outcome, releasing the idea of what's supposed to happen, what should happen, right? And this is like in micro minutia moments throughout the day and or bigger ones, relationships, jobs, right? It's hard, uh, especially when it's the bigger ones. So how do we balance that out with doing everything that we can to make sure that we have a foundation? And then as you guys know, I mean, things happen like that. Right, so being able to pivot and flow. Uh, last week we did uh, five elements, so maybe we'll come back to that, especially water element, all right? So let's start off in our seated mountain. We'll start with a little bit of movement, right? Always useful to All right, so you can take your hands onto your knees, whether you're seated on a chair or on the floor, just inhale and round your spine. Exhale, pull your chest through. All 
right? And start getting in touch with like the gross anatomy of your body, right? So noticing as we inhale, the spine pulling backward. Maybe notice your shoulder blades on your rib cage. And as we exhale, now pulling the chest through, follow your sternum. Yeah, and let's do that one more time. So inhale, slowly, slowly. Drawing the spine back, find the front of your spine. Right, maybe just retain the breath one more moment and notice your shoulder blades and now exhale. Find the underside of your sternum and come to center, right? Utilizing the body as the source of attention. We'll do a little spinal twist. So left hand to right knee. Take your right hand behind you, inhale, lengthen up. Try to keep the hips square, exhale, twist. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. One more, inhale. Exhale. And then Inhale, counter twist coming through center. Maybe bring your awareness to your organs. And then exhale, pressing the back of the right hand against the left knee, roll the right shoulder open. That's it, Nathaniel. Maybe crack your back like I just did. And then come back to center. Drop your awareness into your spine. Notice what you notice. And all of this kind of like interior noticing is the training ground for directing energy, okay? So crisscross applesauce the other way. And now right hand to left knee, left hand behind. Inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, twist. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale and twist. Trying to keep the hips square or the knees over the ankles. One more, inhale. Exhale. And then inhale, right? Notice, like drop your awareness into your organs. Notice how they open. And then exhale, twisting on the other side. Inhale, come back to center. Find your spine. Notice what you notice. Don't forget about the earthly doors, heavenly gate. You know, oftentimes when we do like body scan meditations, it's, it works mostly like exterior, right? Your right foot, left foot, shoulder, arm, right? The extremities. So take an inhale. And exhale. Okay, now this time as you inhale, notice how your liver drops down and to the right so that your lungs can expand. Ready? So inhale. And exhale. It moves back into place. Try one more time. Inhale. Exhale. 
And we'll do, we'll move into nine breaths. Middle finger of the right hand, gently close the right nostril, inhale through the left. Drop the chin down. Okay, notice what arises as far as any recent moment of aversion. Whether subtle or quite loud. And then lift the chin. Okay, you can envision a green light flowing through the right channel as you release. So close left, exhale right. And again, close right, inhale left. And drop the chin. Lift the chin, close left, exhale right. One more, close right, inhale left. And drop your chin. Lift the chin, close left, exhale right. Hold empty if you can. Now this time, inhale right. And drop the chin, engage the earthly doors. Notice what arises as far as the most recent moment of attachment. Or might feel like many millions of them. And when you're ready, lift the chin, close right, exhale left. And again, close left, inhale right. Drop the chin, earthly doors. Lift the chin, close right, exhale left. And one more, close left, inhale right. Drop the chin. Lift the chin, close right, exhale left. And now we'll inhale through both nostrils. So take a deep inhale. And drop the chin down, engage the earthly doors. And when we release this, we'll release it out through the crown of the skull, clearing the central channel of ignorance. And when you're ready, lift the chin, release the earthly doors, exhale out through the crown of the skulls, envision an electric blue light. And again, deep inhale. Drop the chin.
Lift the chin, release the earthly doors, exhale. I try to follow the breath all the way up to the atmosphere. And we'll do one more deep inhale. Dropping the chin. Okay, when we release this, we'll immediately inhale back down the wisdom and compassion of all of the past, present, and future Buddhas. Exhale. Inhale. And we'll drop the chin one last time. Allow all of the wisdom and compassion to fill every cell of your body. And when you're ready, you can lift the chin and exhale out through every cell of your body. And perhaps open your eyes and see through the eyes of the Buddha. Try and just see color, light, form. See yourself seen. And perhaps recognize there is no self. How's everybody doing? Good. Okay. Um, all right. I realize this class is way too short for everything that I want to be able to share with everybody. So let's do, let's come and stand and we'll do some standing practice and then we'll come back down and, and play with kind of moving energy around. Okay. Um, and we're going to do that. I got to move this with me. We'll do a quick little shake. Uh, if you feel that it's appropriate for your body and your nervous system right now. I know that sometimes uh, when I don't feel well, Shaking is not the right thing to do, okay? But I will, I'll guide us through uh, like a five minute shake. You guys can't see my feet. All right, let's start off in our mountain. All right, and it's kind of fascinating how after years of habituated, you know, setting the posture up, the mind follows suit too. Earthly doors, heavenly gate, connect to the spiritual needle, right? That energy that's moving up and out and also down. Inhaling, exhaling. And just for one moment before we go anywhere, find your heartbeat. Some may be able to kind of drop right into it. And, it, and if you can't, if it's not so accessible, hands over your chest. It's interesting how kind of meditation cycles, uh, meditation practices kind of with, that we cycle through them. And I've come back to just sitting and listening to my heartbeat. 
and then recognizing that there will be a day when I don't hear it. So find it. Deep inhale. Exhale, release the mudra. Step out to the right. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, expand up into the sky. And then inhale, begin to come down. Exhale, jump up and release. Okay, and from head to toe, Let's do a little disorganizing. Fingers through your scalp. Puttering lips. All right, massaging the ears is such a nice little practice too. Clearing sinuses, I don't know about you guys, but the pollen over here is insane. Run your thumbs into the upper eye sockets. Coming down the lymph nodes. This one I've found more and more to be increasingly needed, helping drain. All right, so if you come to the neck and then come back up, I found that that helps facilitate drainage. Popping the eardrums, perhaps. Would love. So I really start like, so interesting. I have one pet that's sore and the other isn't. I know why, because I was doing those things. <laughs> um, start really kind of tapping into literally no pun intended, how when you do that, energy flows outward from your hand, right? It's just the same as like when you step on water, right? Or a, a puddle droplet, same thing. Notice how you are dispersing and moving energy physically with your hand, which comes from the impulse of your mind. Maybe as you're doing this, like me, recognize that I need a massage. <laughs> I have a long time. Okay, and we'll do shoulders. get my hair thing that flew across the floor. Okay, and then hips. Right, going one way, other way. Okay, I encourage you also, I know you guys are watching me, but you know, we've been doing this for a while together. So I encourage you, if possible, close your eyes. Use your other senses to see. A little freestyle for about a minute. Right, if you feel like releasing the tongue, <laughs> even thinking about it makes me laugh. Hey! <laughs> All 
<laughs> it's hard to do that and like be angry. I, I guess I should probably do that the next time I feel like telling somebody to fuck off. <laughs> Snapping the feet is always good, I find. <laughs> it's like throwing a tantrum. All right, and then just begin to slow it down a little bit. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, <laughs> five, four, three, two, and one. Just stop. Okay, look inside, notice what you notice. the right foot back to the left. Draw the arms around. Right, as you're doing this, really start to, if you haven't already, right, notice all the chi that you're running your hands through. Come back to the Tai Chi Mudra. Hmm. All right, we're gonna go through five elements practice. I'm gonna turn to the side. We did this last week, we're gonna come back to it. And um, <clears throat> so starting off in mountain. Okay, noticing if you're overarching your lower back, so that's why you wanna draw up the lower ribs, smooth down the sacrum, inhale. Exhale, turn the left foot out at a 45 degree angle. Undo or release the mudra, okay? And I'm turning my palms up and as I do this, okay, I'm running my fingers through the belt meridian where the kidneys are. And then inhale, rising up into fire, okay? The color is red. The organ is the heart and the element is fire. So you can have flames coming from your fingers. And you can be on your tippy toes like I am or not, right? Whatever works for you, inhaling, exhaling, inhale, and exhale, we're gonna flow into water through monkey back. All right, so here's my kidneys. I'm gonna pause here and just hold this. Inhaling, exhaling. Okay, connect to all of the fluidity in your own body. Inhale, exhale, breathing right into the kidneys. The color is blue black. And in fact, the, the direction associated with this is also north the water element, inhale, exhale, step back one more time, flow back into mountain. Inhale, exhale, release the mudra, step the right foot out at a 45 degree angle. Okay, feel the air under and over your hands, inhale, Rising up now into fire again. And then exhale. Flames from your fingers. Inhaling. Exhaling. Right, I, this always reminds me of like being a phoenix, right? Being reborn, which many of us do throughout our lifetimes. Inhale. Exhale and flow. 
Let's pause here. Breathing right into the kidneys. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, stepping back. Mountain. Okay. Inhale. Exhale, release the mudra. Turn the left foot out at a 45 degree angle. Right foot steps forward. Make sure the knee is over the ankle. Toes are facing forward. Okay, this is like a high warrior one. Coming into bear. So pause here. And then inhale. Widen your bare chest. Exhale. And again, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, widening out. And exhale, becoming smaller just a bit. One more, inhale. Exhale. And then inhale, we're gonna turn to the right, okay? That's it, Susan. Connect to the energy between your palms. Okay, this is metal element. The organ is the lungs. The color is white. Okay, and again, come back to your shoulder blades. Find them resting on your ribs. Inhale. Exhale. You can make this really dynamic. So like pulling the hands apart and exhale, pushing in. Maybe one more, inhale. Exhale. Noticing again, what arises in the mind and body. Sometimes holding poses for a while, stuff comes up and that pose is also associated with, well, metal element is associated with grief. So inhale, step back, mountain. Pause and notice. Exhale, release. Notice how your fingertips can graze the floor. And then Step the right foot out at a 45 degree angle. Step the left foot forward. Arms come into bear again. Inhale. Exhale, twisting to the left. We're gonna hold this like we did on the other side. Okay, so this is wood element. Color is green. This is for liver. So inhale, maybe pressing out. Exhale, condensing. All right, you might start to feel heat in your palms as you do this. Inhale. Exhale. Okay, you can breathe green right into the liver. Inhale. Exhale. And then inhale, come back. Step back, mountain. Pause and notice. Right, it's fascinating how each one is so different. So now this is earth element. Inhale. Exhale, release. Don't forget about the earthly doors and the heavenly gate. And then inhale, gather earth. Into your body. Fingertips, fingers intertwine with each other and then the thumbs press together. Roll the shoulders back. Yep. And then pressing up. Okay, I know I have a habit of my right shoulder always popping up like that, so I'm gonna square it down. Inhale, exhale, and here you can make this really dynamic. So try and 
pull the fingers away from each other without pulling away as we inhale. Exhale. And one more, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, pull away now. Exhale, press out. Inhale. Exhale, press out even more. Allow space to enter you. Inhale. Exhale. Now straightening through the wrist, expand fingertips, reaching through the walls. Inhale. Exhale, push down. That was awesome. We'll do that one more time, a little bit faster, but <clears throat> you can, each one of these, you can hold for five minutes, four minutes, right? And you're really getting into the posture. We'll do it one more time, a little bit faster, and then uh, we're going to start playing with some energy here. I mean, we already are. So back from your mountain, inhale, exhale, release. And for just one moment, press the palms out. Okay, feel that energy going all the way up inside of the arm into the chest. Inhale, left toes turn out 45 degree angle, rise up into fire and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. Exhale, flow like water. Be water, pouring into water. We already are. Step back, mountain. Inhale. Exhale, release. Left toes, I mean, right toes turn out. Inhale, rise up fire. Exhale, hold it. Every moment being reborn. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, flow. Like water. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, release. Left foot turns out, step the right foot forward. Inhale. Exhale, twist to the right. Metal element for the lungs. Inhale. Exhale, kind of press out and then push in. Inhale, back. Exhale, mountain. Pause. Inhale. Exhale, release. Right foot turns out. Inhale, step forward. Exhale, twist to the left. Wood element to the liver. Right, green light flowing into your liver. Inhale, pressing out. Exhale, pushing in. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, mountain. Inhale, exhale, release. Fingertips grazing the earth. Right? If your fingers are grazing the earth and then inhale, gather it. Intertwining other thumb on top from before. Okay. Exhale, pressing up. 
Inhale. Trying to pull the hands apart. Exhale. Inhale. And now exhale, release. And inhale, press out. That's it, Susan. Press, press, press. Inhale. Exhale, expand. Inhale. Exhale, press down and notice your spine lengthen upward. Five elements. And then just draw the arms around. But just to close that practice. Hmm. And then you can release. And what we're going to do is hold the left hand in front of us. Okay? And maybe we can widen the stance a little bit, put a little bend in the knees. And then take the right hand. This is called pushing taffy or pulling taffy. And if there's, <laughs> I don't even know who came up with that name. My teacher's teacher. And we're going to push in and then draw away. And again, inhale, push and exhale. Pulling away. Okay, and you can find your own breath pattern or just play, right? You start to feel the energy between your hands. Right, your little chi ball. Okay, and then just keep the right hand there, draw the left hand away. So inhale. And then exhale, push in. And again, inhale. And exhale, pushing in. One more, inhale, and exhale. Okay. So now, <laughs> you can start making your cue ball bigger, but what we're gonna do is take the left hand, keep it down here, take the right hand, make a dragon beak, right? So all of my fingertips are coming together and then I'm going to do this seven times. So you're dropping the dragon beak into the palm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. All right. And then holding the hand above the palm, you can begin to draw. And you'll feel how they, the extension of that energy moves into your other hand. Okay. And you can. Push it through you. Okay, and then do the other side. I'm gonna widen my stance. Dragon beak. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Drawing through the hand. You can close your eyes even, just notice the difference. If there is any difference, combing the energy through you. Okay. Right, we're remembering that our energetic field extends way beyond just this body, right? And what we're doing is tapping into that. So why don't we come and sit? <clears throat> Okay.
And I want us to do a little um, Tugu Nashem. So, how do you guys feel? Okay. Yeah. Five elements is always like, so, it's so balancing, you know? It's not like really yawn or really yin. It's really, it's like eating a well balanced meal, you know? So, we haven't done this in a while, I don't think. Um, the five elements standing practice that we just did has its correlation to a seated practice called Tugu Nashan. You guys, who remembers Tugu Nashan? No? Okay. Then we definitely need to get back into it. We have enough time to, to do it. And then next week, um, we'll go back deeper into it. Okay. So quick overview, each finger, is associated with a particular meridian directly linked to an organ, okay? And I'll guide us through this, but essentially it looks like this. Well, I would inhale. And then what I'm doing is directly connecting to the organ associated with this finger. And I'm not gonna tell you which one it is yet because I want you guys to feel it. And then I will on the exhale, cleanse and release into the earth, okay? And it's really funny when you do this in a group of people, like for me, I'm like, I don't wanna sit too close to you because like, I don't wanna get that shit on me because <laughs> you can feel it, you know? You'll notice the more and more you practice, I don't know if you guys have already noticed this, but you start to feel everything. And that can be a little overwhelming because um, essentially what we're doing is we're expanding outward. We've talked about this before, right? Our neuroception is widening, widening outward. And in this practice, we are, it's so much about toning the vagus nerve and a direct connection to each organ, okay? And when I was sick with COVID the first time, this practice, I swear to God, it saved my life. Because I could feel the virus moving through my body, finding and finding, trying to find a way in. And when it got to liver, my liver ached. And I was like, oh, you little fucker, I found you. <laughs> All right, from your mountain. Each organ we're gonna do about three breaths in. That's my plan. We are gonna spend, or we'll spend more time in kidneys, right? It's always a good time to spend in the kidneys. So we'll start there actually, even though it's summer right now, normally we would start, no, I guess maybe we'll do that. Yeah, we'll start at the heart, right? Season by season, depending upon, right? Winter is kidneys, summer is heart. So we'll start at the heart. So you wanna take the middle finger and press it onto the nail bed. I mean, the thumb pressing onto the nail bed of the middle finger. Yeah, like that. Hands come here. Okay, and these are visualization practices, right? So this is for the heart. The heart color is red. And for me, it's like this, like the red of a Ugandan sunset. So I'm gonna inhale, drawing the arms up and around, pulling toxins out of my heart. And then exhale, releasing into the earth. Okay, this practice is literally called spitting practice or organ polishing practice, okay? So inhale, come back to center. Thumbs over middle finger, coming up. 
and around. Exhale, release. And again, slowly, slowly back to center. Right. Noticing how you're condensing chi as you do that. Thumbs over middle finger. Inhale, come up. And around. Exhale, release. And then again, back to center. All right, so you wanna think of that color in particular, like filling the organ, nourishing it. Okay, so thumb now over ring finger. Okay, and I want you to notice like, as with anything, experiment, see what you notice when you do that. Where do you feel that in your body? For some, it may be immediate, for others, more subtle, okay? You could press on the nail bed even more. Okay, this is for liver. And my liver's like, hello. <laughs> so funny. I'm having a conversation with my liver right now. So the color is green. Element is wood. Inhale. Come up. And around. Okay, infusing the liver organ with brilliant green light. Exhale. Coming back to center. Thumbs pressing on ring finger nail bed. Inhale, come up. And around. Exhale, release. We'll do one more. Although for me, my liver's like, please stay here. So when we end, I might come back to this. So coming back to center. Thumb over ring finger. Inhale, come up. And around. Exhale, release. Hey, you also might start to taste stuff coming up. Yeah. So now back to center. And thumb over pinky. Okay. And again, experiment. I mean, like, I already know what it is, but my body is like, boom. So this is for kidneys. Some of you may have felt that quite immediately. What I encourage you to do, and, and as we do throughout practice anyway, is notice the difference between the right and the left. Okay, so now, and the color is like, it's, it's so funny because I was supposed to be in Iceland tonight. It's the color of uh, the Aurora Borealis, like that magic. Okay, and that's what you want to draw into your kidneys. And it's the water element. And, you know, for some of us also who've been practicing, some dragons may show up. <laughs> so thumb over ring, uh, pinky. Inhale, come up. 
Okay, slowly, slowly, as we're coming around, draw the magic of that night sky into your kidneys. And then as we exhale, spitting toxins into the earth. And back to center. Thumb over pinky. Inhale, come up. And around. Exhale, release. Back to center. We'll do one more. Thumb over pinky. Inhale, come up. Exhale, release. And back to center. So we're kind of running over time. See what I mean? Like this practice alone should, could be like an hour. I'm going to tell you what the other fingers are for. <laughs> um, because it's 137. All right. Thumb is spleen. Color is yellow. Element is earth. And just like we did in the standing practice, right? Forefinger is lungs and the element is metal. We'll come back to this next week, promise, okay? And, the, and I'll also, there's a PDF document that I can upload next week, right? But yeah. Also next week, uh, I may send a message out through Thupton Norbuling about maybe doing um, Tuesday because Wednesday I might be teaching in a homeless shelter, okay? But I'll let you guys know. And uh, Nathaniel, will you send me your email? Because I want to send you um, a request letter that I've written. Oh, by the way, this practice, right, Tugunashan, I do in the slums all the time. Such a brilliant, brilliant practice. Um, but uh, I'll let you guys know if next week is going to be a different day when I figure everything out. I thought I was going to be in, I don't know what's happening. I'll just multiply myself. Um, the earth, the heavens, and the humans who are trying so hard. May we all stay safe. Yeah. Okay. I'll see you later.